You think bees are smart because they know how to build hexagon patterns? Well, you can make one too, it's not that hard. But instead of just going straight to Touch Designer, I actually want to try to show you some math behind it first. So if you want to fully pack a bunch of hexagons together, obviously just placing them one next to another won't do much. We need more space. In fact, the amount of space we need between these two points equals the side of the hexagon, also equals its radius. And if we were to measure that rectangle, we would see that the height equals 3 times the side. Now we need to find the width. Let's assume that the side equals 1. Then we know that this height equals 2, because these sections are exactly the same. Now we can use the famous Pythagorean theorem to find the width of this hexagon. And it's a square root of 3. If you rearrange that knowledge and you go back to this rectangle, you can say that if width equals 1, the height should equal to the square root of 3. Add a constant chop, rename the channel to height and set it to 3. Add a function chop, it will apply the square root by default. Add another constant, let's call it width and set it to be 720. Now we need to get the height in pixels, so add a math chop. Connect the second constant to it and set combined chops to multiply. Add a circle top. We don't need a circle, we need a polygon. Set the number of sides to 6, now go to the common tab. Let the height control the height and the width control the width. Now we need to make a pattern. Add a transform top. Go to tile, extend, repeat. Add a composite top and connect both. Set the operation to add, go to transform again and translate it by 0.5 in each direction. Add another transform, enable repeat tiling and just scale it down. Now you can fit it to whatever size you want, you can change the polygon parameters, you can even mix it with a UV map, use a little B image and put one B inside each hexagon with a remap top, why not? That's it, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you next time!